This is a story of an adventure loosely themed around Harry Potter. A 10,000 meter journey, three years in the making. One of wonder, pain, oh. and celebration. I'm Harry Morgan. And this is Jog On. Hello, Harry here. Something a little bit different today. If you remember quite a while back, we hit 200 subscribers and to celebrate, we ran 200 meters. That was 200 meters for 200 subscribers. Well, it's become something of a tradition. Hitting more milestones, we ended up running for 400, 800 and the mile. And now we passed this number. We actually hit 10,000 subscribers. To make up the trio, we've got GB Louise playing Hermione. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without the man who's been there since day one. Joe. 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 Playing Jog on Ron. It is, of course, Jog on Joe. So here we are at the start of our 10,000 meter run to celebrate 10,000 subscribers. We're gonna head past a place known as Frencham Ponds. Then we're gonna go through Bourne Woods, an area where Harry Potter was actually filmed for a couple of scenes. Oh, it's warm. And then we're gonna wind up at a ruins known as Waverley Abbey. Three, two, one. And so in our strange Potter themed outfits, we began to run through the dense foliage. But one issue was quickly clear. My cloak is choking me ever so slightly, but not to worry. Following the backwards facing tie of GB Hermione, one had to admire her jog on socks. Soon we were out of the woods and onto sand covered paths. So you might be wondering why the Harry Potter theme? Well, there's no particularly good reason other than my name's Harry. I feel like GB Louise would make a good Hermione. And of course, Jog on Joe, the spitting image of Jog on Run. We are gonna get some weird looks around here. Many sort of beach goers here. People enjoying the sun. Us on the other hand, dying slightly in the heat. We passed through an outdoor cafe before our slightly questionable costumes were recognized. <laughs> Jog on Joe is sweating quite a bit. Current temperature reading is 29 Celsius. A dirt path cut through the thick undergrowth and our strange trio pushed on in the sun. Approaching a bridge crossing a small body of water, Jog on Joe's cloak took on a cape-like appearance and he began to look more superhero than wizard. The threat of an ankle snapping cattle grid lay ahead, but we passed over it with a light-footed wizardry. Running the distance in meters of subscriber count starts to give you an idea. It's quite a lot of people. 3,000 meters, 7K to go. And if you'd like to know what would happen after this, well, the plan would be if we can ever dream to hit it, running 50,000. Unsurprisingly, we've had a few shocked looks, which is to be expected, but the ones I find weirder are when they just wish you good afternoon and they don't react at all as though seeing three dodgy characters from Harry Potter who've taken a liking for Bright Orange is something normal. Our route led us down a tree-lined slope into the woodland film set of Harry Potter, and we clambered up to the center of this epic stage. This is Bourne Woods, where they filmed a couple of the scenes in Harry Potter, namely the Deathly Hallows. What a spot. We're gonna carry on, try and get to our finish line, the ruins of Waverley Abbey. Let's keep going. With the sunlight bearing down, making our way to the other side of the woods, high branches offered some welcome shade. <laughs> Not to be too much of a cinephile on camera, but if it does interest you, the road we're currently running down was filmed in a scene from Band of Brothers. We have hit 5,000 meters, which means we are halfway. Interesting how busy it was around the French and Pond area with all those people at the beach, and yet we're running through Bourne Woods and no one. Finally, we saw a few people on bikes. Afternoon. The guy on the mountain back there just quietly mumbled Harry Potter as though, <laughs> that's six kilometers, as though he was just acknowledging the fact that Harry Potter was running past him. Afternoon, Harry Potter. The tedium of repetitive steps in this heat led to a distraction technique of throwing a few more spells around. This tree shrouded lane is a very large hill. We're still running up it. This is hot work. It's worth mentioning at this point that as much discomfort as we're in, it is a very scenic route. It's distracting Joe from the fact that he's well past his 200 meter limit. That is 7,000 meters, 3K to go. Baking hot sun, jog on Joe bringing up the rear. Eight kilometers. One kilometer on and approaching 9K lay the gated entrance to our final destination. Here we are, Waverley Abbey. Of course, Joe and I celebrated with some extra magic. So our routes ended up being just a little bit short. And what that means is to get the 10,000 meters, which obviously we have to do, is we're gonna to need to run at least a lap of Waverley Abbey. The ruins of Waverley Abbey are situated in Southern England and its stone walls have been standing in this field since 1128. On this day, it was our version of Hogwarts. With a final effort, we passed more remnants of this historic building and came in to complete our 10K run. There we go, by the Abbey walls. 10,000 meters. Well done, guys. 10,000 meters for 10,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, consider it. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Harry Morgan. That's GB Louise. That's Jog on Joe. And this is Jog on.